Lesson 13.3a, Problem Solving Using the Area of a Triangle, Missing Measures. In Lesson 13.2, we have learned to use the formula for the area of a triangle. The area is equal to half the base times the height. We can use this formula to find a missing base or height measure when the area is given. This means that we can use the formula to find a missing base dimension if we're given the area and the height. If we know the area and the height, we'll be able to find the base. We can also use the formula to find a missing height if given the area and the base. The official flag for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is designed with two triangular sections. We can see there's a blue section and a white section. If the blue triangle section has an area of 7 and 5 tenths square feet and a base of 5 feet, what is the height of this flag? We can use the formula for the area of a triangle. We know that the area is 7 and 5 tenths square feet. We put that here and substitute it in. We know that the base is 5 feet, so we put the 5 here. But we don't know the height, so we have an H. We multiply half times 5, and half of 5 is 2 and 5 tenths. We don't know h, so that's going to go here, and the 2 and 5 tenths is now our coefficient. We can divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient 2.5, and because this is the same numerator and denominator, this is a 1, isn't it? This becomes a 1h. We just have an h here. And 7.5 divided by 2.5 is 3. We know the height is in feet, not square feet. The height is 3 feet. Because this is multiplication, this 2.5 times the height, we used division as an inverse operation to solve the problem. Lola's triangular bandana has an area of 144 square inches. If the height of the bandana is 12 inches, what is the base measure? We have our formula for the area of a triangle. We know that the area is 144. We set that here for A. And we can multiply in any order. So we can move the 12 over here and multiply that by half, or divide it by 2 to get a 6. We have a 6B. Now we have 6 as our coefficient. We divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient 6. And 144 divided by 6 is 24. We know the base is 24 inches. The area of a shawl is 10 and 5 tenths square feet. The length down the back is 3 feet. What is the length across the shoulders? We think the length down the back is the height of the triangle. That's going from this point to the vertex right here. And the length across the shoulders is the base of the triangle. The length across the shoulders is going to be this base. Well, we know the height, 3, and we know the square feet is 10 and 5 tenths. We substitute it into our formula. We have half times 3, which is 1 and a half, or 1 and 5 tenths. We have our b. We divide both sides of the equal sign by this coefficient, 1.5. We get same numerator and denominator, so that's a 1. So we have 1b, but we don't write a 1 coefficient with a variable. And if we do 10 and 5 tenths divided by 1 and 5 tenths, we move the decimal point to the right side of the 5. That means we move this decimal point. And then we do 15, can fit into 105 seven times. We know it's 7. The length across the shoulders is 7 feet. The problem doesn't have to say base and height. You can use common sense to say, OK, well, that would be the base, and the length down the back would be the height. And remember, the area is in square units, but the base and height are not. So when we're doing these types of problems, our answer is not going to be in square units. Okay, we finished the first part of this lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, writing equations using the area of a trapezoid. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and 
join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye!